what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new youtube video if you're new here my name is justin i'm the owner of hygia cold press and today we got another vlog it is about 5 52 a.m and uh, we got a really really busy day today i gotta get in the shower i gotta get dressed and cleaned up because we gotta head to the shop we got some orders to pack up we got wholesale deliveries to take to chicago again you guys already know it's a full busy day ahead and then we're also building my first cold plunge today as well we gotta hurry up get to the city and get out before the traffic gets bad and then we had to go all the way up north so we could hit to a tractor supply store and set up our cold that's the itinerary for today i'm gonna get in the shower and we can go and get started let's go all right y'all i'm at the shop it is 7 30. i got everything packed up here as you can see everything's in coolers what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get all of this put into the truck double check all my list make sure that i got invoice sheet and then we're gonna hit the road so let's get it just know whatever we got now we done earned this however little look grand as long as we deserve it and ain't looking for no company that we can merge with oh no the truck is packed. I got everything that I need. I double checked my list. I got two lists, a list that my client always sends me and then the list that I write out myself. So I always make sure that I double check those things to make sure everyone's order is always on point. I have to head over to the gas station. There's a gas station like less than a half a block away. I need to get a bag of ice and we need gas because we got a far trip today. Still early, we got plenty of time. And like I said, later on today, we're going way up north and we're gonna grab a cold plunge, which I'm super excited about. Everyone's been talking about it. Everyone's been doing it. So I wanna build my own. All right, y'all, we made it to our first stop. We're at Dan the Man's house. For us, this is like an hour and a half ride south. Drop off a full load to Dan. Dan has partnerships with different businesses, different family members, uh, just different customers that he's gathered on his own. So I drop off a big load to him, and then throughout the week, he does his thing out here. Wholesale is super clutch. I really appreciate all of our wholesale clients and all the wholesale orders that we get. Uh, really helps us spread the brand on a much bigger scale than I would be able to do just on my own. I'm gonna text Dan, let him know that we're here. We got a full trunk load today, so I gotta unload a bunch of stuff for him. Oh, damn. damn. Damn! That dude in that minivan just fucking bottomed out on that speed bump right there. All right, y'all, so we dropped off Dan's order. We did a, we had a nice long chat because Dan and I always love, well, oh shit. Dan and I always love catching up together. We always have a good conversation. I love talking with him. No matter what, we always got our vibes high. And we always have a great conversation. So shout out to Dan the man. All right, y'all, we made it to our next stop. We're all the way on the west side. It is now 1058. It took me 45 minutes to go seven miles. Although you don't have very far to travel, sometimes with all the stoplights and the stop and go traffic, it can take a long time. Like I said, I don't really mind this too much, guys. Uh, I really enjoy what I do. I love my job and I love seeing all your smiling faces. I know that's kind of corny, but I really, really do. Um, every time I hand off a jar to somebody and we get to have a split five minute conversation, talk about how your day is going, it truly does make me really happy and I'm really, really proud that I get the opportunity to do this. Shout out to all of you guys. If you're placing orders, I love you a million. I owe you the world. My address is somewhere on this block, so I'm gonna pop the trunk find the actual house that I gotta go to and do a doorstep drop for this one. And then I got one more delivery and then we can start heading back north. Bam, just like that, three minutes later, I'm at my next destination. I'm gonna text my customer and let them know that we're here. This is our last delivery for the day. And then we're gonna make our way back up north. Let's get this customer his juice. He's got a six pack of Emerald and two sea moss gels. So small delivery, but it's a good homie of mine. Shout out to Mr. Face. Let's get him taken care of. <laughs> Sometimes I get gifts from my customers that my customer put together for me, but it goes a long, long way. I really, really, really appreciate these things. They mean more to me than the monetary value. Although this only cost him two or $3, to me, it means the absolute world. He took time out of his day. He was thinking of me. For my customers that do things like this for me, that go the extra mile, that leave me a dollar tip, that leave me a little thank you note, give me things like this. It means the absolute world to me. And like I said earlier, I don't mind coming and doing all these long trips because I love seeing you guys. I love having the conversations. I love getting updates on your business, your family, your kids, your wives, your husbands, whatever the case is. And then when you guys give me gifts like this, really, really touches my heart. Again, not to be corny, but I do appreciate all of you guys so, so much. Your orders mean the world to me. Every little bit of conversation that we share means the absolute world to me. I love every single one of you so, so much. I love my job. I love what I get to do. And I'm so glad that I get the opportunity to do this. Again, thank you guys so much. All right, y'all. We finally made it home. It is about 12.15. It took a little longer than I anticipated to get home because Chicago traffic sucked. It started like randomly raining slash snowing. 
Uh, it was like nice and sunny earlier, so I'm not really sure what that was about, but it held up traffic. So I'm finally home. I'm gonna unload all the coolers, go inside and make lunch real quick. I need to take a little break, to be honest. I'm probably gonna take like a 30 minute break and then uh, I'll reassess. Uh, basically, there's two tractor supply stores. There's one in Wakanda and one in Antioch. I gotta see which one has what I need and then we'll be heading in either direction. But like I said, I'm gonna grab lunch and a little bit of a break first. So I will check in with you guys after lunch. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the video. It is a brand new day. It's Sunday. I know I said we were gonna go get the cold plunge yesterday, but when I got home, I decided to take a little bit of a nap before I realized it, the, uh, the store had closed. We decided to move it till today, which is no big deal. We got something to do today. So we're gonna head to the store. We're gonna get the supplies that we need for our cold plunge. And we're gonna bring it back to the house. We're gonna get started on putting everything together. I'm not entirely sure on how we're gonna do things, what materials I need yet. I have somewhat of an idea. I've done some research, but uh, I'm also kind of winging this. We're gonna hit Home Depot first. It's really close by. It's close by the shop as well. We're gonna see what we can drum up there. If they don't have what we need, uh, we're gonna go into Wakanda, whatever, tractor supply store. And then I know for a fact they have everything that we need there. But from the little bit of research that I did do, Home Depot is gonna be a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna try my luck there first, see what I can figure out, see if I can find a, a chest or a tub big enough that I can fit in. Maybe we're gonna look for a few pumps or filtration systems, see if I can figure that out. It's a little bit out of my scope of practice, but I still wanna try. And then uh, we're gonna go from there. Let's get in the car and let's head to Home Depot. We just walked into Home Depot, walked straight into the aisle and got super lucky. Hello. I found a bin that fits me perfectly. Although it's not fancy, it's only $69. And because it's my first cold plunge on a building, not really willing to spend that much because the chances are I'm gonna mess this up or I'm gonna break it. $69 sounds pretty cheap to me. I feel like, <clears throat> to be honest with you, that's pretty solid, right? Like if you want to fully submerge, I think it's a good one. We're gonna go with this one. Also, it's convenient that it comes with a lid, so at night I can put the lid on it. Uh, I haven't really figured out a filtration system or how often I'll change the water, but. I got what we need. All right, y'all, I got the bin, but it wasn't smooth sailing because it never is with me. They didn't have the lid that I needed. Well, they didn't have the lid. They didn't, they didn't have the lid that fit the right size bin that I had. And I figured while I'm paying for it, let me just ask. So I asked, they went and looked, they didn't have it. There was a miscount. Someone took too many lids, which is no big deal. So I left my number and my email. They're gonna give me a shout later in the week when the lids and the rest of the load comes in. At that point, I'll just slide over here, pick up a lid real quick. Not a big deal, the lady was super helpful. Nice lady, I appreciate her for all the help. And uh, at the very least, I got the bin we needed, baby. So, load this in the Jeep and get our asses back home. I need to make sure I hold on to my receipt and don't lose it because I'm probably gonna need it here in a couple days when I come pick up my lid. I'm sure the lady's gonna remember this handsome face though. It fits in there like socks on a fucking chicken. Let's go. We got the bin. Like I said in, in the video, it smells, but you can also see visually, it's pretty dirty. So, we gotta take this to my backyard. I gotta get some cleaning supplies, a couple of brushes, and uh, we gotta clean this out, rinse it out. I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but it's slightly snowing. It's like 39 degrees out here. So what better time to build a cold plunge than when it's fucking cold outside? Let's go, baby! I got no gas. It ain't got no gas in it. But for today, clean her down, rinse her out, go change my clothes, and take it a dive, baby. So I'm gonna go inside and get some soap and some brushes and get cracking on this. Rinse it out and clean it out real well. But first things first, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some baking soda because my mom always told me when you're cleaning something, use baking soda. <laughs> And then this Fabuloso, it says multi-purpose cleaner with baking soda. So we're all the way baked up. Insert young Jeezy song. 
So that should be enough there. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of water and I'm gonna scrub this joint down. I'm not looking forward to getting into this thing. I know this video is like all exciting and cool and fucking cold plunge. It's fucking cold out here. I'm not this hose water. My hand alone is cold. Uh, but I, I know the benefits are going to speak for themselves. I know the people that do it speak very, very highly of it. And uh, you're just not going to be able to deny that. From what I hear and what I've been told, you cannot recreate full submerging. Submerge? What did he say? You cannot recreate that when you fully submerge yourself in water. I do the cold showers in the morning, but someone told me that it's not the same. It's your vagus nerve. I'm pretty sure it relaxes your vagus nerve. And that's like a, a main nerve that controls your central nervous system. By relaxing that, it can help your body get out of fight or flight, help your nervous system recover in a proper way. So what, from what I've been told, you can't recreate that unless you're getting fully submerged in the water. Like I said, I'm not really looking too forward to it. I know it's gonna hurt. I know it's gonna be uncomfortable. But every time that you face that resistance and you gotta do something, no other choice. You just gotta buck up and do it. All right, guys, so the tub is filled up. I got ice, I got ice packs in here. Uh, the water is really, really cold. I got Instagram live on the tripod. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm aiming for a minute. Tony's gonna pull out his timer on his phone. That way I can at least see how long I can last. I'm not positive on how long I could do this. The cold showers are cool and all, but this is something that's a little bit different. Damn, I don't wanna do it. One, two, three. That is insanely cold. Insanely cold. Insanely uncomfortable. Uh, I'm sure my voice is cracking right now, I feel it. That is extremely, extremely tough. Um, <sighs> the talking helps quite a bit, but God damn it, you guys, this is fucking brutal. <sighs> it doesn't help that it's like 39 degrees out here, so as soon as I'm done here, I'm grabbing that towel and I'm heading right inside. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is fucking miserable. I'm miserable right now. This is very, very tough for me. Tony, what's my time? Um, You still have 30 seconds. You're good. That was a full mini, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad to get out of here. I'm grabbing that towel and I'm done with this joint. Ah! Ah! Damn, that was cold. Guys, I'm very, very excited. I'm very proud of myself. I think it was a great experience. I'm very proud at how fast I was able to get myself under composure and get my breath back. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I thought I was gonna be screaming. Um, so although it did seem like I was a puss, in my personal opinion, I thought I handled it well. So if, you got, if you're saying something otherwise, piss off. So I'm gonna put this on here and uh, I'm gonna have to have Tony hold, turn the camera off because I need his hand. <laughs> so. cool. All right guys, so that is going to conclude today's YouTube video. Thank you so, so much for watching. We got our little bin, we set our cold plunge up, we did my very first cold exposure. It was an absolute blast. My endorphins are on 10 but also so is my appetite. I'm hungry, Tony's hungry. We are gonna conclude today's video right here. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all an absolute million. If you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and I will see you guys in the next video.
but I could tell you how hard but that defeat the purpose. I don't want to go back to feeling